The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Gong hei fat choi. Lei si da loi. That means happy new year and many blessings and lots of luck. Uh, this uh, uh, year of the dog over there in China. And boy, let me tell you, if you think we celebrate here on New Year's Eve, you should see how they do it over there. Uh, everybody's wearing dog masks and stuff like that. That handsome little prince that I posted this morning is uh, the four-year-old prince, um, Mitchell uh, Philip uh, Avery. He's four years old. The six-year-old would not wear the costume because he thought it looked uh, too much like a girl, and it wasn't uh, made by uh, North Face. He, he likes to wear things made by North Face and uh, Columbia. So anyway, uh, that's it. We'll move on to the... Uh, to the markets here a little bit, but I wanted to spend just a tiny bit of time in about um, China because I've been fortunate enough to go there many years uh, over the past, uh, oh my goodness, it's been, uh, I think I did my first speech there in 96 and I went to, I believe, 16 different cities uh, over the period of uh, 20 years. I, I stopped, yeah, I stopped in 06. That's exactly was my, uh, was my last year is when the Mercs uh, stopped the program. Um, I just, you know, stumbled into it, but I've, I've really enjoyed it very, very much and uh, has wonderful stories. I, I'll share a few of them with you this morning. Um, on one of the trips, I was in uh, Hangzhou, which is the silk capital of uh, Beijing, and it was uh, about 400 miles, 350, 400 miles south of Beijing. It is the uh, equivalent of Boston. Uh, Shanghai is more like Chicago. Beijing, of course, is like New York. And um, Dailin is more like San Francisco. But Hangzhou is, is very similar to Boston. It's the Harvard University of um, um, China. And uh, you have to be in the top 2% of the tests in order to get into that place. But uh, I was getting off the elevator. Uh, I was My speech was on Sunday, and I was getting off the elevator to go for a breakfast buffet on Sunday morning. And um, uh, I was, on the way down, uh, there was a family uh, with the two little two little kids, two little girls. They were, uh, let me think, I think they were about seven or eight, something like that. And that was unusual because, you know, the Chinese had the one-child policy for many, many years. They stopped that about eight, ten years ago. But I knew that this must have been a pretty well-to-do family to have two children. And these little girls kept staring at me and looking at me, and I was smiling at them. And they didn't know, they didn't know quite what to do. So I started to sing this little song uh, that I had learned. And once I started singing that song, the little girls just busted out laughing. And uh, uh, they started talking to me uh, in English. And, you know, where was I from? How did I learn the song? You know, all these things. And so I went down to, to have dinner, and they came over to sit by me. And I said, is it okay with your parents? And they said, yes. And I said, do your parents speak English? And they said, not very much. And I said, we learned it in school, and we're here to practice is what we're going to do. I've had a request to sing the song. Okay, are you ready? And I'll tell you what it means in just a minute. It's, whoa, I need, I Johnny, chu sheng lao shou, I da me. That's most you're going to get. There's more to it, but it basically means I love you like the mouse loves the rice. And um, anyway, it was really nice, and I ended up meeting the parents, um, and they were uh, very, very, uh, uh, very, very scholarly and stuff. But uh, anyway, it was fun and seeing these little kids, and I kept kept in touch with them for a while, and then as, as things happen, you know, you lose touch and everything. But anyway, we'll start out here like we usually do. Uh, we got a couple of big things happening, boys and girls. If we'll take a look at this DAX this morning, uh, you'll notice here we had a 350. <laughs> thank you, Marshall. We had a 350-point move in the Dow yesterday from low to high, and the DAX couldn't even budge. I mean, it just bounced like a, a typical dead cat. So that's not a very good sign. And if we take a look at the the FTSE, 
uh, you're going to see something even worse. I mean, here's a here's a great spread. If you were short short London and long New York yesterday, you made an absolute fortune. So that's telling you that there's something not right. But there's big things happening in Denmark and also in New York City. Boys and girls, we had a very, very important number hit last night. We want to bring this to your attention because this is what we were looking for come last week. If you remember, we were looking for the market to rally. I thought it could pop possibly get to the 382, but since we made that in two days, the idea was it was most probably going to go you know, to the next level, and the next level was hit last night. I mean, just, uh, just absolutely spot on. And we'll show you these to see if uh, if you agree, and if you don't agree, that's okay too. The first one we're going to show you here is the the Dow E Mini. We're going to bring this and show you. This was happened about uh, an hour or so ago, a couple hours ago, and you'll notice that the the Dow E Mini hit the exact um, 50. Uh, what we call uh, the uh, dog on it, uh, the exact. <laughs> oh dear, the exact 786 retracement. Let's try that again, Larry. Hit the exact 61% retracement of the high we made on January uh, 29th. That was the Dow. If we looked at the S&P, which even was even more uh, dramatic, and we'll get that up here in just a second as soon as I can find it, and I believe um, that's that one. Here's let me get the let me get the Dow Jones up here like it should be. I had the wrong chart. And we'll see what's going on in there. You'll see that was the uh, the Dow Jones. And give me a second, and I'll get these these others in here, so that we can see what we're doing. And uh, boy, a little slow on the trigger today, Larry. Uh, I'll get to gold and silver, and the, then the currencies in just a minute. But I want to make sure that we see these uh, these others that we're looking at right here. Uh, shucks, hold on, just a minute here. One of the keys yesterday was the fact that. Uh, I think this might be it. Wow, I keep hitting the Dow. Uh, did I do this? Well, here's the NASDAQ, I believe. Yeah, here's the NASDAQ. This, the NASDAQ has broken um, over um, 70 points since this high was in. The Dow's broken over 100. And uh, that's really what you're, what you're looking at here. I think this could be the high. And the reason why we made the high back here on the 29th on the um, – the lunar eclipse, and then to yesterday was the solar eclipse. Uh, it's within one day of that, so that's what I'm thinking of. You know, well, whether that's going to be anything or not, we'll have to wait and see. But as I mentioned here, the last day or so, that I really thought that the the key was going to be uh, when we had the um, close on Friday, because if we close bad bad on Friday, that would complete that pattern that we've been looking at, and I would say that that would most probably you know, be the uh, the thing to really, really watch. That was what I would be uh, paying attention to. Now, here is the uh, the E mini S and P. I did this one on a daily because it was it was so doggone clear. Uh, we went right up and hit the number exactly spot on at 23.44. At dry alley, 27. Let's try it again, Larry. 27.30. <laughs> 2744 was the exact. 61% retracement, and we hit 26.45 and have sold off about 13 points since then. So we're going to be uh, going to be looking. That would be a possible target to do that, but boy, that's a long way down. All right, we'll take a break. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk 
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. It's a special month at TFNN, and with market volatility back, we've decided to hold an open house in our Tiger's Den. For this month only, you can get a full 30 days of Tiger's Den membership without paying anything. The Tiger's Den is our interactive chat room where you can chat with other tigers and tigresses along with the TFNN hosts during each of their programs. For all of the details and to start your 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den today, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal is gone. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, the SPs now come up down about 18 handle, 15 hit, 17 handles from the high, and um, we, the Dow's down a little more than 100 from the high. The NASDAQ has dropped about 100 points. So this high probability that might be it. If we get above that high that we made in the middle of the night here a few hours ago, then this would probably be wrong. But so far, it's setting up what is what we hoped for. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Oh, we got a call from uh, Philadelphia. John, are you there? Mr. Z, I hope you're there, my friend. 10-4, evidently we got a bad connection in uh, Philadelphia. Well, we'll hopefully we'll get him back on here uh, in just a minute, and we'll uh, get a get a chance to talk to him about, uh, he wants to speak about the euro, and I did a special video on that uh, last night because of the big things that were happening, and I would like to be able to uh, chat with him about that for sure. So hopefully Mr. Z from Philadelphia will call in again and then we'll have a good chance but let me take a look here i posted the chart here for the um uh if you'll give me a second for the gold and the silver and what i wanted to show you here folks this was yesterday's action and it doesn't show the fact that we did go up and we didn't take out that high at the 786 on the silver so that's important that uh you know we'll be able to uh be there uh, mr z are you there i am here can you hear me Hey, coming in perfectly, my friend. Coming in perfectly. How are you today? Happy New Year to uh, you. Happy yes, Chinese uh, New Year. <laughs> happy Year of the Dog. Yeah, absolutely. What can I help you with, my friend? Larry, uh, would you please uh, help me with the Euro? Uh, I was uh, up early watching the Euro make a high and then turn down. The Euro has uh, declined 120 pips off its high. So it's very clear there was a little trading high there. I didn't catch that. Uh, Neither did I. I. You, however, <laughs> yeah. Can you make the case that the euro is making a more significant top? I speculate it is, but I'd like to hear what you have to think, please. Yes, John, and I and I'll tell you, it's uh, we're at the same situation where we were it, just from a technical standpoint. This is comparing charts. You know, they're totally different charts, but. Uh, if you compare what the 10-year note was doing, 
uh, about five or six weeks ago, if you remember when you were watching, in fact, you were the cheerleader of short bonds here at the uh, Tiger Den for quite a while, and that turned out to be pretty good. We're looking at this possible uh, same type of pattern here in the U.S. dollar index. Let's start with that. I think that's the easiest for, for me to explain, and then I'll move to the euro. But as you see from this U.S. dollar index chart that we have here, uh, we had a, two really big days, uh, well, actually three big days, back-to-back, -back, and we went down and almost tested that low from uh, January 25th. Now, we didn't go through it, which was a total surprise to me because every uh, alert that I had was uh, waking me up about 1 o'clock in the morning because the euro had gone above the uh, 125, uh, 30 level. It got 125.25 was the old high. We got up to 125.38. Uh, the pound had made a uh, recovery high at the 78% level. And the Japanese yen was literally getting massacred. You know, it, was, it actually traded below 105. And then all of a sudden, as you mentioned, in a, in a blink of an eye, uh, markets turned you know, on a dime. And, and John, that's where I have uh, learned my lesson many, many times that I do not buy these breakouts. Uh, you know, I'll wait till that breakout is, uh, you know, complete and that I can see it. But to buy a breakout above that in euro, I would be very, very remiss. Now, there's a possibility, and I want to bring this to your attention because we're going to put up the euro chart on the weekly here to take a quick look at it, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, this is the weekly chart. Now, if you look at that chart really closely, you'll notice that we did take that high out a couple weeks ago at 125.25. Uh, we got up to 125.38, I believe, was the high on foreign exchange. Uh, and uh, that is, that's only about 50 pips away, you know, or well, 60 pips away from the 61% on the weekly chart going back to 2014. So, I, you know, I don't know if that's it or John, but you asked me the question, could I make a case for it? This is the case that I could possibly see, that we just missed the 61% retracement. And the fact that we dropped 140 pips so fast, it just like in the stocks that we just saw, they dropped so fast, that say, hey, look at me, something's happened. Yes, very good. Um, I might also mention, Blair, I've seen you in the past post 10 years worth of the year on the monthly chart, and there's a, a very, there's a very obvious, trend line down off of tops that that um, that comes in at the same area um, so um, um, yeah I'm going to be very alert uh, I wish I would have shorted uh, the euro uh, five hours ago I did not uh, so I'm hoping we get uh, in the next day two three four a nice little bounce to try on a position swing trade short in that so uh, so thanks very much Larry Hey, John, stay with me. One thing we know for sure is uh, there was really no reason up there uh, unless you were up at that time. And my beeper went off, but it only went off about six or seven times at that high, and then it went below it. So the, by the time I saw it, it was already 70 pips lower, and there was nothing nothing that I could see other than selling weakness, which is not my forte to do it. So they, it'll give you a chance. So if this is a top in the euro the first thing we watch for, of course, is a nice ABCD, you know, counter trend rally. And uh, that's the main thing. John, I wanted to say something else to you uh, that I we talked about a little bit yesterday, but the cocoa just keeps screaming. And I wanted to thank you for bringing that to our attention. You know, it was a month ago that you became bullish on that. And now we are uh, testing the 78% uh, level, and that's up three full handles, three and a half, exactly three full handles from where you were buying it. And that's a, that's a serious move. So congratulations on that, and we certainly appreci appreciate everything you do in the den. And, folks, if you're listening, you can come in and try the den for a couple weeks here for free. All you have to do is go to www.tfnn.com. And there'll be some instructions there. You can get into the Tiger Den and see the traders and the stuff that they're doing during the day. It's all day long. I think it's about 15 or 16 hours. And um, you'll hear the radio shows and all the other things. But, John, I want to thank you again, my friend. You're a class act, and we love having you here. Larry, thank you so much for your help. Uh, by the way, just, uh, just a parting observation. I, too... Uh, was up early like you and trading and observing what the, the COMEX gold price was doing. 
And the fact that it went right exactly to that uh, spot gold price high January 25th up there at that 1365 mm-hmm. now backed off. It, that, that is telling us how important that is. Uh, I'll share this with you. If we get over that now, that's going to be just a perfect textbook example of what Tommy O'Brien has taught us uh, many times over the year, and that is a jumping the creek breakout yes. uh, phenomenon. So, so we'll be watching that real close. Yeah, I am too. We also got to keep an eye on that silver because for gold to really get moving, silver's got to you know hat, latch onto the stars. So, watch that silver. We get that silver above 1705. I think it's got a chance for one heck of a run. Thanks again, Larry. Thank you, John, and Happy New Year to you. And uh, we're going to take a little break here, I think. And then I've got something really special for you, uh, the second half of the show. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, uh, don't listen to it. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, about 20 years ago, it was after the Iraq Desert Storm War, I got a phone call from a young man down in Florida and uh, he wanted to learn how to trade and he said he was moving to kuwait and i said what are you going to be doing there And he said i'm going to be teaching the kuwaiti air force how to fly f-18 hornets and i said well, what do you do he said well i was a pilot 
and I was a, a pilot for the Navy for 10 years, and so I trained him to trade, and about uh, three or four months later, I trained number two, trained number three, trained number four, so I did the whole Top Gun group, and they've been my friends uh, all these years. Uh, what we're going to be seeing here today is from one of the other traders in that group, which is Bart Bartolioni, and Jim Bartolioni. His nickname is Bart. All these guys have really cool names. You know, we have uh, one was Rooster. He was the lead dog. He was the top dog. Then we had Bart. Then we had Bucky, who was uh, my friend from Florida. And then finally, we had uh, Spider, who was um, uh, Jeff Lay from um, uh, Ohio. And all and he's running a hedge fund now. But uh, basically, what Jim does is he looks at really, uh, really esoteric things. And uh, I want to show you some of these. What I'm, what I'm going to do today is just show you a little bit because I'm setting it up with um, TFNN to do a webinar uh, for us folks so you can see you know, some of the esoteric things that these fellows work on that are really, uh, I, I introduced them to some of them. Folks, I don't go into that area at all. That's too far over my pay grade. But uh, the one thing that they really focus on a lot, and that is the uh, Mark Douglas's book, uh, Trading in the Zone. That's a, you know, a big part you know, of what they do. Uh, but the main thing is that uh, this book that I'm going to show you right now, I introduced Jim to it, uh, Bart, into this book about, uh, oh, it was 20 years ago. And uh, it's a very interesting book about esoteria and the numbers. If you've ever read this book, there's another one uh, that is very interesting, and that's The Dimensions of Paradise by John Michel. Uh, it covers many of the things that this does. This is a beginner's guide, which is, uh, you know, really, really good. But I was exposed to some of this stuff way back in, you know, the early 70s at the um, Institute of Metaphysics there, uh, Manley Hall in, on Mulholland Drive up in... Uh, um, Los Angeles, but again, this is really heavy stuff. Uh, it's all about Pythagoras and um, you know Einstein and you know numbers, but it's all related to the numbers, and that's the that's the key of what we're looking at here is how some of these numbers work, and that's what uh, you know. Jim is a very strong Christian, and he uh, you know reads the Bible a lot. In fact, all four of them are. They they all four of them are, and uh, but this is some of the things they're going to work on. I'm going to show you this next one. Which is a, there's 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 60 slides here, so I can't go through 60, and you guys don't want to hear 60 today because you're only hearing it secondhand, and that's not really where it's at. You really want to be able to see, you know, where some of these things uh, come from, and uh, that's the main thing that uh, you know we'll be we'll be watching here. Uh, but I, I just wanted to give you some of the things they work on frequencies and vibrations and some like this. But before we get to the the the, the I have to tell you a funny story. Uh, we have Davis Monthon Air Force Base, which is one of the major Air Force bases in the world here in Tucson, and all of them have been out here because uh, they have uh, you know they do some uh, teaching and stuff, and so they've been out here at all different times to spend you know several days as much as a week with me and stuff, but. Uh, uh, they did come out here, and I have some incredible pictures uh, of them with their planes, and uh, it's it's really really neat. But the the one thing that was really uh, interesting is in on, the, on one of the uh, I think it was uh, on Spider's uh, plane. There's a there's a uh, button, and on the button it says press this if you want to kill every sob in sight. And I asked him, I said, what is that? He says when you hit that one, he said the, they get hit with 50 millimeter cannons. Uh, all all the artillery on the plane, he said, plus napalm. He said, we only use that, you know, when we really have to uh, do some damage. And I said, oh, wow, I guess that's pretty good. Anyway, I wanted to get back to this esoteric stuff because you actually don't need to know this, but if you're in a search for higher learning, uh, this is a really good place to look at it. Uh, this is some things from, uh, you know, Thomas Edison and things like that. And that thing, that little saying there, nature will reveal itself if we only look. Boy, that's the same thing in patterns, folks. If you learn to look at the, and I'm here, you're talking about somebody that's, uh, you know, one way Corrigan because I, uh, this is what I do is patterns and ratios. I, I don't know diddly squat about the, uh, the fundamentals, but this is what I've really worked on. Now, what Jim's working on here, he works on vibrations and stuff because he's been a big studier of um, Nikola Tesla and there's several other uh, of these slides here that are involved with uh, Nick uh, Tesla's work and stuff like that. And he, what he does is he relates it 
you know, to the market, and that's what makes it so interesting. But uh, those are just some of the things that, that are in this little program here that we want to get started on, uh, you know, to let people uh, look at it and, you know, see what it's going to be like and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you a couple of the, um, a couple of the uh, uh, charts that he has in here, and there's just too many of them. But the first one, I'm going to do just a couple here to just to wet your whistle, and then we'll only do two more minutes, and then we'll we'll move on to the next. But uh, it's really good. Let's get this up here. I, I I think it's really good. Let's put it that way. All right, let's move up here. There we go. There we go. And you'll see here uh, when you're looking at this, what he's looking at are these uh, different ways of looking at the square roots and numbers and stuff. This happens to be win. Uh, of what he's uh, looking at, and you know, it made it made a perfect top up there, as you can see. But the one that I think you'll have a you know really interesting one on, of course, is the next one, which is the uh, the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average, which is uh, another way of looking at. It. Now, a lot of these are related to the patterns and the ratios, but they're also putting in to this is they use the 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 vibration, in other words, the the harmony that's in there, and they relate it to uh, music. And, uh, and 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 uh, music and uh, light. So uh, that this is kind of you know heavy stuff. But boy, when he sends me something, I pay really close attention to it because, you know, he has really done a lot of work, uh, you know, looking at these things. So uh, what we're going to do here in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, is we're going to be um, we're going to be able to. Uh, uh, have a whole hour, hour and a half webinar on this so that he can go through this and uh, you'll be able to see where it comes from, get all the material that uh, he was, uh, you know, able to look at. Yes, uh, surgeons are, uh, it's, the surgeon was saying engineers are the easiest to work with. Uh, engineers and pilots, as far as trading, have been uh, very, very easy to work with because they think in terms of numbers and geometries, especially pilots, because when they plot their course, I mean, they go from X to X to Y, and they do it that way, and so they're used to drawing lines, and that's really what you're doing is when you're looking at pattern recognition is you're watching these lines unfold, and that's the, uh, you know, the main thing. To, to see if it's going to uh, to hold up or not. Okay, now that's really that's pretty much what I wanted to show you—a little teaser of what it's going to be like. I think you'll enjoy. It. He's much better at telling it than I am because he knows the material. I'm just uh, I just showed him where to go to look for it, and um, they've done a great job doing it. But Jim is this is Jim's program that he built, and actually he gave this presentation to uh, a group in Europe, and then he also gave it to. Uh, the uh, uh, Market Technicians Association uh, in New York, and they they liked it too. But I think you'll enjoy it. We'll uh, we'll have some in uh, some information on it in the next couple of weeks here, and get him on as a guest. Uh, he's, he's a lot of fun. He's a great guy. Okay, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Stay tuned, and we're going to talk about the British pound. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. 
On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller from Florida. Jim, are you there? That's a big 10-4. Maybe I'm having a connection problem today. I don't know, but we don't have Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida. We'll maybe get him on in just a little bit. He's, there we go. Uh, oh, he's listening. He wants a question about, um, uh, he says, DZS, there is no December soybeans, but we can do uh, November soybeans for sure because uh, that's something that we've been watching for quite some time, and we do have this solar eclipse uh, uh, today along with uh, yesterday and let's just bring that chart up to let everybody take a look at it because this is one of the things that uh, was on our watch list for today we'll just get this up into this level right here and where's the SX uh, uh, where are, here we go let's bring it up here and we'll be able to take a look at it this is uh, from Friday and uh, I'll tell you right now that we've gone up and we've made the um, uh, the double top up here at uh, $10.24. We hit it exactly the same as we did on December 4th, and we're right over that. So I'm expecting a little bit of a correction in here. Whether that will affect the December soybean oil, uh, I'm not sure because December meal and December oil are running in opposite direction because of the crush and the meal spread. So uh, I'm still in that position. I'll hold it uh, until uh, it gets stopped out. But, boy, it's certainly got a nice pattern uh, for a potential buy, that's for sure. Anyway, that's what we're looking at in here. We'll pull up. We'll pull up that uh, that that Christmas oil chart, December soybean oil chart, and take a look at it because uh, this is some type of a major bottom uh, that we're looking at down in this area. So uh, we'll we'll watch it. Which it's trading exactly where we bought it right now. Uh, it moved about oh, 50 to 100 bucks. Well, about 200 dollars higher yesterday when the beans were up a little bit, but now they're starting to sell off, which I, all I'm expecting here, and, and I, I could be wrong, is just a nice little pullback, you know, in the, um, in the, uh, let's, let's, uh, in the soybean oil here, just, it's only backed off 40 points from the high, so that's really, really not very much, but, but it still looks like a good trade, you know, it's like, it's like everything else, it's like a probability, you know, some of them work, you know, some of them don't, you know, that's basically, you know, the bottom line of, uh, you know, what we're, what we're watching here. Now, the one thing I did want to talk about is the British pound, because uh, we were talking about the currencies uh, right before we, uh, right before we came on the air, 
with well, right after we were on the air with Mr. Z from Philadelphia. We we're talking about the euro and the pound. But I wanted to bring to your attention, we, we weren't talking about the pound. We were talking about the euro and the dollar index. And if we take a look at this, you'll see that the British pound uh, two weeks ago went right up to the exact 78% retracement. And then last night, uh, we hit that 140, 150 level. We backed off 150 pips from that level. Folks, that's that same 135 pattern that we looked at. Now, that might only work for a few days because if this uh, British pound turns around and gets above 140, 150, uh, you don't want to stand in front of that short because, uh, you know, that could be, uh, you know, big. But it has to get above that high. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's in a downtrend. We've got two lower highs. Uh, there's 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. Uh, 0 0.5 was a 61% retracement of 0.3, and it was a 50% retracement of 0.1. So that's that's a definition of a downtrend when you have lower highs. So that could add to the effect that there's a possibility that that dollar index uh, is going to hold. Now, the last I checked on the dollar index, it was trading around uh, 88.60. The old low was 88.20. It doesn't seem like much, but on a Friday, over a major cycle that we have, uh, like yesterday with that solar eclipse and new moon, you have to pay attention to that as near as I can tell. So, you know, that's, you know, basically the bottom line of what I'm looking at. One of the one of the key things to look at, folks, is whether the market is really turning or not, is or to watch the rallies. Because, you know, when markets go straight up, there's always going to be people willing to buy because the shorts are absolutely scared to death. So watch how markets markets rally. We saw that in the in the Treasury bonds. If you remember, we watched those Treasury bonds, you know, go down for week after week when people were trying to be bullish to them, and all that was doing was telling you, you know, that it wanted to go lower. And it certainly looks like, you know, we are going to go lower, but we're in the midst of a little bit of a bounce here, you know, in the uh, in the Treasuries. But I don't think we're going to get much above the the 146 level. But if you look at this. You know, this bond chart on a daily basis, you'll notice all during December and January, you know, all we had were these little two or three day dead cat bounces. And that's all we should be expecting right now. At the most, I would believe you would go back to those old highs around 146 to 147. You know, that would be the most I, I think you would get because the chart is uh, exceedingly bearish and it has been, you know, for a very, very long time, ever since we made that head and shoulders pattern you know, that completed back in, uh, you know, early December. So that's that's what it looks like, but whether that's going to continue or not. I got another question here about the gold market. Folks, if a gold can close above 1370 and silver can get above 1705, uh, there's no other way to look at this than you got to start being bullish. So that's the main thing. You know, we went down to the gold. We stopped almost exactly where we should have. And that was at the 382 retracement of that move from December. That came in at 1338. Let's try it again. Yeah, 1330, 13, wow, Larry. 1320, uh, 1318, I'm sorry, 1318. And uh, we will watch uh, how it rallied since that. We've rallied over $50 uh, an ounce, so we'll see. The yen is a real interesting, Danny. Let's put this up here because uh, this has uh, broken down. It's, and it has broken down badly. Let's just get this up here. Oh, no, don't tell me I've, I've lost it. Oh, I can't, here, no, I haven't lost it. It's right here. Here it is on the weekly basis. I want to get this to your to your attention right here, and we'll bring this up. i got to cover the yen very, very uh, extensively on the, uh, on the weekly newsletter this week for Forex because uh, if you'll notice that uh, we had that potential breakout to the upside, which we never did get, and now we're breaking it out to the downside. We actually traded below 106 uh, last night, and uh, we got to down to 105.80, I believe. I don't even know where it's trading right now, but uh, you know some of my limits are going off this morning, so we'll see uh, see what's happening here. Oh, the uh, IWM is uh, hitting a 61% retracement this morning, also. So that'll be a Interesting one to see if this cycle that's here is going to mean anything uh, or not. If you had one to sell, uh, that would be uh, the best one to sell because it is the weaker uh, of all the indices. But uh, and if you can consider the Dow moving, uh, you know, 1,400 points straight up as weak, uh, who knows? But the swings that we're going to see 
are going to be immense. Now, folks, with the Dow Jones up 300 points yesterday, you would have thought that the VIX index would have gotten slaughtered. Well, it was up almost 2%. So somebody's taking protection. Who it is, you know, I really don't know. But uh, somebody was in there uh, taking uh, taking protection. So it's going to be interesting here these next uh, couple of days over the weekend because this cycle will be totally finished when we get in here on Monday morning. And if the market does start down, uh, you know, badly, uh, either, well, I don't think it'll be today, but it could be today uh, or Monday, uh, that would tell us that is the uh, C point of an ABCD move, and that means we're going to be dropping at least 2,500 points uh, in the Dow Jones, boys and girls. So we'll take a little break, 877-927-6648. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals which through January 18, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals but clearly I've learned how to time the markets and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the uh, NASDAQ up here. This is the one from the newsletter uh, over the weekend, of course. And really what it's showing you is the importance of that low that we had here. And now we've made a 78% retracement uh, spot on to the number that we were uh, talking about earlier this morning. The high in the NASDAQ overnight was an exact 78% retracement uh, of that move. So pay attention to that. This is going to be a really important week coming up because we've got all of these things uh, moving, you know, towards the area that we want to be looking at. If you're looking to sell something, the best one to sell is the IWM. 
that would be up around this 154.15 level. That's the 61% retracement. Hasn't made it yet, but it's uh, moving that in moving in that direction at least early this morning. But the S&P, the Nasdaq, the Dow have all hit the numbers 618 or 786 exact. I mean, they have been, you know, exact numbers. So that that's something to pay attention. And after that, we did have a break. Now maybe they go back and make new highs. All of this is wrong. And start listening to Captain Kangaroo again, because this means we're probably going to go up and make new highs next week. But if the close today or Monday is really bad, and by bad I mean more than three or 400 points in the Dow Jones, and that will tell us that the high we had into this solar eclipse and new moon from yesterday is, the, um, is going to be a high for quite some time in that ABCD structure you know, says that we could go down, you know, 2,500 points. And believe me, we went down 2,500 points before without any trouble. We did it in eight days. So these markets have increased volatility on their agenda. So remember, to, you know, use your stops the best you can. Protect yourself as as well as you can, as you, as you know that risk is the only thing that you, you know, really can protect. So those are important. There'll have to be a very extensive newsletter this weekend, both in futures and in the markets, and uh, we'll uh, be looking forward to doing that on Saturday and Sunday. Anyway, that's about it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the 